All right, I'm gonna show you three different ways to put a border on your video. And I'm gonna do these all as if I was gonna go with just a circle type camera. You could go with any shapes that you end up wanting to do. Circle is the most common because it is kind of the most easiest. And then you can tell someone actually did go ahead and do that. So right here, I just have a video of me saying, oh, hit the like button and subscribe up if you like these kind of videos. And over here, I just have a generic video of a future concept cop car, just as generic background video for me to put the camera over eventually to show you uh, how this exactly looks so first of all right here just make sure you're over the video select it and all of these versions are going to start off by going to the fusion tab but super basic uh for some of them and some of them a little bit more in depth the very first one here um you have it in here media in media out now all you got to do is grab the circle here the ellipse if you want to do the circle you can do whatever shape you want like i said go ahead and drag over the square to the blue Boom, you got yourself a circle. You can make it bigger or smaller with these right here if you want, taller or smaller, or whatever you wanna do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move the centering over to center me on there. You can either go over in the inspector here and go left and right and up and down with the X and Y, or you can grab these arrows and drag this up and it'll go up, or drag this and it'll go side to side. So that's about in the middle. For this purpose of this video, that's perfectly fine. Now this is the easiest way. So now what you're gonna do, come back over to the edit tab. Go ahead and go up to open effects scroll it's almost down to the bottom the way i usually find it i just go all the way down to the bottom i scroll up slightly and here we got a drop shadow now this will not be a crisp line this will be more of a shadow around it go ahead and drag the drop shadow down to the video and boom now you don't see it because it's transparent background and the background's black so let's just go to effects and go ahead and select a different color we're going to make the border I don't know, we'll go with red, a color that really stands out. So boom. Now it shows the drop shadow as if the light was in the upper left. All you have to do to make it more of just go around the camera, drag the distance down to zero. It is incredibly small. Go ahead and drag the strength up. There you drag the strength up and go ahead and drag the blur up and the blur will get wider. And there you kind of have a shadow around the video. So we'll go ahead and drag it over the video over here so you can see what it looks like. And we'll take the video down in size and put the camera wherever we want it. Let's say we wanna be in the upper left-hand corner. This is just to have a shadow border around you just to make the camera stand out a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and reset and I'll show you a second way here and then later eventually a third way. Now here I started over at the beginning and we're gonna go ahead and do this the exact same way here at the start anyways. Grab the ellipse and drag it over to the media in, boom. And also move it over and center yourself. But now here's going to be another step to have it to be a solid circle around a solid outline, a solid border, instead of that faded one. Now what you're gonna go ahead and do here now is add a background node. So go ahead and grab the background node and just go ahead and put it directly above the media in uh, for now. Now what you wanna do is this ellipse right here, you want this to be exactly the same. You wanna make a copy. So right click and copy, or you can control C and then right click and go to paste or control V, but this is the easiest way right there. And go ahead and take the gray square and connect it to the background node. Now you don't see nothing yet. You wanna go ahead and take a merge node and go ahead and drop it down right about here. Now you do wanna disconnect the media in because if you connect that automatically, it will not come up the way that you want it. You wanna take from the media in and you wanna drag it to the green triangle because that is actually the foreground. And the yellow one right here is the background. Now you obviously want the background to go to the background right there and then connect them to the media in. So you see it right up here, it looks like, it looks like nothing really happened. What you actually wanna do is go ahead and select the ellipse that's connected to the background node and go ahead and go over in the inspector to border width. Go ahead and drag that up and you can make it as thick as you want. You can make it as thin as you want, but uh, about right there looks like a good border for that. Now, if you wanna change the color, select the background node and click on the black right here where it says color and that's gonna be the color we change. Let's just go with a blue border on that so it's nice and solid and blue. And once you go over here, we can go ahead and drag and drop that over the video. You can see it is huge, way bigger than we want it. Same deal here. We're going to make it smaller and this time let's just move it down to the lower corner. And there you go, you have a blue border on that. Now let's say you wanted to now, maybe we wanted to feather the outside edges just slightly. Go ahead and go to the ellipse node here and go to soft edge and just drag that over. And you can see it gets a little bit fuzzy. If you want it to be a lot fuzzy, you can have it look similar to the drop shadow, but you have more control over it by making it bigger or smaller, just having a light glow on it like that or having it go massive in that manner. Anywhere in between you wanna to do too, you could just have it just feathered just slightly on the edges to give it 
a certain type of look like that if you would like. Now here, if you don't want it to crop at the top and the bottom because it actually feathered out so much, come back over to the Fusion tab real quick. Go ahead and take this ellipse. You can bring the height and the width down slightly on it. Then go ahead and grab the merge node right here and go to size and go ahead and shrink down the picture slightly. And that way you will now have it not clip on the edges. Alrighty, now that's all fine and dandy if you have the full clip, but let's say you want to make that same border and you want to keep throwing it on uh, multiple, multiple, multiple clips, and, or you just want to like have it go out for eternity as long as you want. Now the first thing, way that I would do this is going to be nine different ways. First of all, I would do it similar to how we did the very first one, just grab an ellipse, go ahead and throw it on the camera, move it over and center it, pretty much center it, and boom, that's pretty much all I would do with that. Let's go ahead and put it over top of the video just so you can see it and we'll we'll shrink it down a little bit and move it where we want it now the next thing i would do is go ahead and go up into the effects and actually grab a fusion composition now right with this i would go ahead and drag it out because with this one we're going to do a little bit more in depth we're actually going to make a moving gradient outline for this camera it's incredibly interesting though actually we don't want to make it too incredibly long uh, because you can obviously cut it down later, but what we're gonna end up doing is giving it the gradient and the motion, and then we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste it, and so then it can be longer and longer and longer and longer. Let's go to the Fusion tab right here. First thing we're gonna wanna do, add a background node. Go ahead and grab that background node, connect it to the media out. We have a plain black background. Now go ahead and grab the ellipse, put it behind the background, and go ahead and attach it. So pretty much the exact same thing that we did to the camera. So now that we have the uh, background here, there's different things you could do with the other stuff as well. You could just go ahead and make it a solid color if you wanted to, but you could also go horizontal, see it is now black at the bottom, and it is green at the top or you could just make this any color you wanted to as well. We'll go with red just to kind of show you. So it transitions gradients from red to green. You can do the same things with the four corners. You can do it down here with gradient. And this is the one that in my opinion works out the best. It is now black on the left and white on the right and all the different shades of gray in the middle. I generally like to have it a little bit more harsher of a gradient because that way you can actually see the colors in full instead of seeing more all of the gradient. Now you can see the actual colors. And I obviously am gonna want different colors. A good way to show the gradient here that I find is go with red on one side, and we'll go with yellow on the other side, depending on, you can pick whatever colors you want, but this way it shows with the uh, gradient of orange in the middle, red, and yellow. So now that we have that, you can actually keyframe this just as though you would keyframe literally anything else in DaVinci Resolve. Now what you, all you have to do is go over to the triangles underneath the gradient, right click on it, and go to animate right here. Go ahead and click animate. And now you see, you wanna make sure the playhead, the red line there is right at the start. Now I personally edit in 60 frames a second because I do video game footage that the games run in 60 frames. So you wanna do that. Maybe you run in 30 frames a second. So remember that these numbers right here are the number of frames. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have it move over. The red will move over and then come back after two seconds. So we're gonna to go to one second roughly. And now we're right here. We'll drag this gradient over this way and you can see the red's gonna come over, so there's just a little bit of yellow on the other side. Now we'll go to 120 here, which is gonna be two seconds, and we'll drag it back to the other side. Right about the same area we had it. Now we're gonna go ahead up to 180, and we're gonna drag the yellow over, so now it'll look like the colors are kinda fighting back and forth almost. And we're gonna continue this until we get all the way to the end. I'll fast forward and show you that. Already now I'm not quite to the end, but I ended at an even spot and with the yellow coming back, which is the second one that I went to. So that's where I'm actually going to want to finish it at. So we're just going to remember here that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seconds in. And that's where we're going to want to make a cut on that fusion composition. Now let's go ahead and hop back to the edit tab. And first of all, we'll just go ahead and watch this and you can see kind of what it does here as we play through. You see it's going to animate with the colors going back and forth. But as you probably could have guessed, we're gonna slide this underneath our camera so that you can then see that it is bouncing back and forth. But first, I'm gonna wanna zoom in here and we're gonna wanna go to eight seconds over so that we can indeed cut off right at the border of where the colors stop. So you can see right here it's 10. So let's go ahead and zoom in to see where eight seconds is. Put the playhead right at eight seconds here. Go back a frame, there it is. Cut it off and now we got it to end exactly where we want it to go ahead and slide this underneath the camera we have 
but it's obviously not the right size here. And the good thing with this is you can resize it and you can go ahead and make the border as big as you want, as small as you want, or anything like that. You can go ahead and put it behind it like this and zoom in and out and you can move it around yourself. So there we go, we have the border behind it. And as you can see, it will go back and forth and go ahead and we'll watch the camera right here. And you can watch it go back and forth and back and forth, slightly animated right here on this channel. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe up so you never miss any of the future DaVinci Resolve tutorials or videos about But you can see it doesn't quite go the full video. If you want this to go longer, you can just go ahead on the Fusion Composition, hit Control and C. Put your playhead at the end of that one and hold Control and hit V. And it'll just copy it over longer and it'll keep going, it'll keep going. That's why we cut it off at the end so that it then will repeat and you cannot even see the little cut in it. It'll just keep repeating that over and over and over again. And no matter how long your video is, hold control and hit V, paste, 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 paste. As long as you have that video in the exact same spot, you can continue that pattern, that moving border on your video as long as you want.